Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. As you can tell, I literally just rolled out of bed. It is 8 o'clock on the dot. Normally on Mondays, I try my best to get up like super early, but a lot of the time it does not go that way. I'm looking a real hot mess. Like, I have not washed my hair. I don't even want to tell you all how long it's been since I have not washed my hair. But anyways, that's past the point. I have so many things to do this week, so I thought, why not do another weekly vlog? Thank you guys so much for all of the love on my last weekly vlog that I just posted. I have not posted one in probably like, I wanna say over a year. So it feels good to be back in the vlog world. It's a lot of talking for in the morning right now, to be honest. In today's video, we're doing another weekly vlog. So if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Saye. Super weird saying that. I feel like I have to introduce myself because I have a lot of new people here. I'm so happy you guys are here and decided to tune in to today's video. I will not disappoint. I have a lot of things to do this week. First things first, I want to clarify. I do self-tanner. If you guys can see the difference in my face how my face is white and my body is not, that is why. I do not tan my face. I don't use self-tanner on my face. I literally learned the hard way. I did it once and I was like, why did I do that? It's like, that was probably the stupidest thing I could ever do. And it just was not, it was not the right move. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling because I gotta wash my face. I gotta order a coffee because I don't have coffee. I did not buy creamer from the store yesterday. So that's a big L on my part. But anyways, I'm gonna wake myself up. I'm gonna do my bed, all of my morning usual routine that I do. I'm gonna wake myself up, do my bed, do my whole morning routine that I always, always do. And I will check back in with you guys after. Okay, you guys, I just finished up doing a reel. I haven't posted in probably like three or four days. And if you guys follow my Instagram, you guys know I'm active as hell on that app. I literally post a new outfit video like every single day. I don't play around with my content. I get my content done. That's why I be posting every single day. And it's honestly very simple for me and easy. It's kind of part of my morning routine now. Really weird to say that. A lot of people are like, how do you like post every day? Like, how do you do all that? I'm like, honestly, it's like integrated within my morning routine now that it's like if I don't do it, it's like my whole routine is like backwards. It is just about 9.30 right now. I'm headed to the gym shortly. I just put on like a hoodie, a hat. I'm doing leg day, baby. Monday morning, leg day. The last couple days, my workouts have been really, really, really bad. So I just kind of gave myself a reset. For the last two days, I just like went to the gym and just did some cardio. I feel like if I don't eat something in the morning before I go to the gym, my stomach is just like talking to me throughout my whole workout being like, yo girl. Can you go to the juice bar and get some like get some some because <laughs> i'm starving and like i just can't lift properly and you guys already know all this i hope you guys do you should be eating before you go to the gym food is fuel and especially if you're doing heavy workouts compound movement y'all need to be fueling yourself in the gym i usually have my oatmeal but i'm thinking i'm gonna have like peanut butter and toast i'm kind of feeling like peanut butter right now just got a new pre let me just show you guys what this pre is I wanna show you guys this because this is such a lie. I normally get mammoth, you guys know, I love mammoth pre-workout and I always get the Swedish berry because it tastes like the Maynard's Swedish berry candy, right? My boyfriend's like, okay, cool, I'm gonna go and get some pre and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna try the watermelon flavor. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. Probably gonna be fire, right? This is the watermelon flavor, okay? I took it and I was like, I literally looked at the powder and I was like, did they mix up the label and the powder? Because this tastes nothing like watermelon. It actually tasted more like grape than anything else. So I was like, yo, this is an absolute write-off. We do not like her. So anyways, yesterday we went to the supplement store to grab another pre because I'm like, yo, I need some pre. I didn't take pre for the last like three, four days. And I was like, yo, I cannot work out. Damn, I rely on this shit a lot. Like I did not realize how much I need it for my workout. I wanted to get Mammoth. They didn't have my flavor. I wanted to get like a short tub. We ended up getting this Rave one. This is just a tangerine twist. So I'm really hoping this is good. I have not tried it, but it does smell like orange. So this is what the pre-workout is for today. And if you guys are like interested in more of like my workouts and like what supplements I take and whatever, I just posted, well, <laughs> Sorry, I did not just post. I posted this video like two weeks ago. It is a week of workouts. I go over all the supplements I take, all of my workouts. I will put that in the description down below and also in this video for you guys. I wanted to get to the gym a little bit earlier today, but 
did not go as planned, unfortunately. But the vlogs are back, you guys. I'm back in the groove. I don't know if you guys realized, but my last weekly vlog was actually a two-in-one vlog because I didn't actually realize how much content I didn't have for the first video. And then I went ahead and started a second vlog and I was like, wait, hold up. This cannot be two videos because it was just not long enough. It was literally like 12 minutes and I was like, oh my gosh. Anywhere from like 40 minutes to an hour. So I really want you guys to like come with me and do all my day-to-day -day things together. So let me know if you guys want longer vlogs or you guys like shorter vlogs or like right in between the sweet spot. I don't think I found the sweet spot yet. So let a girl know. If you can hear Jaws snoring, you guys already know that's her snoring. Jaws, come here, baby. Hi, up, up, up. I know, oh, it's my baby. I know, I know, I know. What's up? Anyways, you guys, this is the fit for my leg day. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear, but I'm just wearing like this like burgundy hoodie right here. And then we've got the Richest Season Classic Leggings. You guys know these are like my go-to leggings for the gym literally all the time, but they are squat proof, high-waisted. You'll see those abs. I've been dieting for the last like three weeks, so she ain't coming to play today. Oh. Tell me if she still up. It's 5 a.m. and I'm drunk right now. Tell me, can we still fuck? One on one, I'm in the zone right now. Tell me, it must have. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you just how I feel right now. You say it's just the drugs, and I know, I know, I know. Okay, you guys, listen. I had such a good workout. I did cardio. I did my full leg day. I was feeling so good. I forgot to actually mention to you guys the reason why I was having really bad workouts was because I actually had food poisoning, y'all. When was this? On Thursday of last week? When I tell you I was on my deathbed, honey, I was on my deathbed for real. I've never had food poisoning that bad in my entire life. The fact that I survived that, I couldn't even believe. Is this Paris right now? Like what's happening? Oh, come on, yo. I'm trying to turn. Anyway, yeah, so I had food poisoning and I didn't even eat anything bad. I had like chicken, rice, beef. Like, like I said, I've been dieting for the last like three weeks. So like I didn't even eat anything like major that could have did something to my stomach. I think honestly, maybe the chicken was just undercooked. I don't even know what happened. It hit me at 5 a.m. and I was like, oh, I'm dying. I'm literally dying. The next day I felt much better, but like, again, my stomach was literally twirling all day. Back in action though, the last like week, I probably got so much PR. Like, I don't think I've gotten this much PR in like months, okay? So I gotta go and do some unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys the PR that I got. I'm super excited because I got PR from like a lot of really good brands. Some brands that I have not tried also. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I also gotta do some stuff for Champs. They sent me like a huge package, a couple sneakers, but it's been literally raining for the last like two, three days. So I haven't been able to do the content because I have to do the content outside side so the weather apparently is supposed to be sunny tomorrow so maybe i can do it later today or i can do it tomorrow i don't know i have a lot of work stuff to do so i will chat with you guys when i get back to the crib okay you guys i literally just got home to another package <laughs> i don't know what's been going on like legit i've been getting so much freaking pr so i have to open up this box and see what is in here so this is the stuff from champs and excuse all of my like lighting and stuff because i was filming earlier these are the sneakers that i got from champs i'm gonna open this up and see what is in here okay so this is all the pr that i got in the last like week or so i've opened up a couple of them just because i wanted to see what they were but i have not gone through them all so i'm gonna show you guys what we got okay i just quickly changed up my hoodie because I don't know, I wasn't feeling that color and I got a shower right after I do this. And I also put my hair up because my hair is gross right now. First product we got is from Ellis Brooklyn. I've never tried their products, so they sent me perfume actually. I've been getting a lot of perfume lately. This is the florist one. Let me actually open it up because I have not opened it up yet. Oh wow, that's really nice. So this is the florist one. Very nice. And then this is a body oil. You guys know how I feel about my body oil. I love using it, um, especially when I do myself tanner. So this is 
they're really good body oil. I posted this on my Instagram and a lot of you guys were like, oh my gosh, I love Ellis Brooklyn. And I'm like, I don't even know who they are. That's gonna go right into my collection. Okay, Lancome sent me a, oh my gosh. They sent me the Triple Action Power Duo. I've actually used this before. I think they just sent me like a re-up. I went through all of their products, so it came at a perfect time. So this is the Triple Serum. It has a hydraulic, hydraulic, wow, I can't say that with my Invisalign. Hydraulic, is it hydraulic? <laughs> That's great. Hy hyaluronic acid. No, it's okay. I don't need the pronunciation that bad. So they sent me the cream and it also has a refill. I don't even know how to change the refill. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because they sent me a couple of products that have a refill and I'm like, I just have this. And like, I don't know how to put that in the product, you know? Next up, we've got L'Oreal Paris. I swear they probably knew that my, my hair was really damaged because they sent me an entire shampoo, pre-shampoo, leave-in serum. They knew. They knew that my hair was literally dying. I don't even know if L'Oreal is good for like shampoo. And, like, I don't know if L'Oreal is good with like shampoo and conditioner. So like if you guys have tried them and like you guys know some reviews, let me know. This is pre-shampoo, Bond Repair. Could be a vibe, could be a vibe. And then this is the Bond Repair shampoo. Got some conditioner here. Ooh. And this is what I was excited about, leave-in serum. So this is Bond Repair leave-in serum. The amount of recycling, you guys, that I have is a problem. Okay, this... You guys, Pixie and me were like best friends because I love all of their products. They have been sending me PR for like a very long time. I just love their packaging too. So we've got the Flawless Beauty Primer. I'm not gonna take it out because I think I already have one of these that I have not even opened yet. So we're gonna leave that there. Got the H2O Skin Veal Hydrating Loose Powder. And then we've got the Makeup Fixing Mist. This is rose water and green tea. I have so many of these. They just keep me stocked. They always keep me stocked. It's a stamp and wax. Oh my gosh. Babe, they made a stamp that says S. Yeah. But like, what do I use it for? That's really cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a stamp and it has like an S. Wow, I feel so special right now. Personalized stamp and wax. Okay, light the wicks of the wax. Let the wax drip down into the puddle a bit smaller, a bit smaller than the stamp, and then press the stamp firmly into the wax. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So exactly what's on the box here is what I can do with this. And this is my own personalized stamp. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Y'all be really doing the most right now. Y'all be doing the most. Cause I wasn't expecting that. Okay, okay, okay. We got a lovely package from Lawless. Lawless is a makeup brand. So they sent me a uh, forget the filler, lip plumping, smoothing gloss. I love their gloss. Like I use their gloss literally all the time. So they sent me nude, lavender, whisper, cupid. Bomb stick. This is a bomb stick. And then this is maple sugar. So that's what we got from Lawless. Pixie and Lawless probably send me the most PR. And like a lot of the time, I don't even have time to go through all the stuff they send me. So like, it's just a lot of like restock. Your girl's not complaining over here. Next. Okay. I am so excited about this. Smart Sweets is a... Babe, how do you explain what Smart Sweets is? Sugar-free candy. Sugar-free candy. Yes. Yeah, I think they're gluten-free too. Where do I even start with Smart Sweets? I believe they are actually based in Vancouver. Like they started out here, which is like so amazing. So they sent me their, I guess it's like their spring new arrivals, I guess. I don't know. Sent me Smart Sweets. This is the bunny one. And this is the tropical candy. And this is honestly really great because it's three grams of sugar. Natural flavors, 130 calories per serving. 
and 40 grams of carbs and three grams of sugar. Like that is so good. For the macros, you guys know that we count our macros over here. We take our health seriously. We've got goals. We've got goals we want to accomplish. When I opened this, Parham was like, yo, give me one of those right now. <laughs> so the smart sweets. Yeah. Ooh, okay, you guys, I'm so excited about this one. I got PR from YSL, period. Um, I have been wanting their Black Orpheum perfume for I don't even know how long. And they were kind enough to send me their new Black Orpheum perfume. I have not even like smelt this. I don't even know what the bottle be feeling like. Okay. She's sleek. She is. <laughs> okay, wait. How do I take the cap off? Okay. Wow, that's really, uh, that's a floral scent for sure. We love her. We love anything YSL. So just this box too, like, can I just keep this box? Thank you so much to YSL and all of these brands that have sent me stuff. It's amazing. Okay. I don't know how this brand sent me PR, but yeah, we got it in the mail anyways. So this is by Skin Senecals. Advanced Professional Skin Care. Oh, wow. It actually comes in like a nice little bag here, which is perfect for travel. I love bringing these like makeup bags. Okay, so, wow. Wow. They really did not disappoint here. So this is the Triple Lipid Restore Anti-Aging Replenishment Treatment. We can't wait to try that. This is the Age Interrupter Advanced. Okay, okay. I'm down. I honest, I think my favorite thing ever is to try new skincare. And this guy also tries the new skincare too. We do it as a duo, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so that is all. Oh, hold up. I gotta get this box. So this box that I just got, I quickly opened it up because I wanted to see what it was. So, we just launched Celsius in Canada, actually, like not too long ago. And they were kind enough to send me, like, <laughs> what? So we've got Sunset Vibe. I was really excited to try the sparkling orange flavor. Cause me and orange, we like her. Tropical vibe, uh, this is the kiwi guava flavor and then peach vibe, sparkling white. So it's an energy drink, zero sugar, caffeinated energy drink. I don't really drink energy drinks, but you know what? It's not too late to try. Well, maybe I should show you guys my hair. Show you guys the sneakers as well. Since I'm already here doing the most. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get the sneakers. After the sneakers, this is definitely the last of it. So Champs sent me a huge package with all of the new arrivals that I actually wanted. We're gonna start off with the new balances. If you guys know me, you guys know that I don't really rock with like new balances as much, but I don't know, lately they've been coming up with like some pretty cute design. These are really popular in Europe and I feel like we're just kind of getting on that like Europe vibe. So it's a super sleek design. Balance logo in the front here, white laces. Like I've already worn them once, 11 out of 10 comfort. I was dying for the Jordan 4 bread reimagined and I was lucky enough that they sent me a pair. These are too hard. I have not worn these ones because I still need to do like an unboxing Instagram video that I have done for a lot of my new pickups. I need to do that for champs. Next, we've got the lovely Jordan 1 
black and white. I haven't even laced them up. Like, come on, come on. I needed a pair of black and white. I did not have one, especially in the Jordan ones. Jordan ones are like, honestly my favorite. And the last one, I was kind of iffy about this pair because I didn't really know if I would love the colorway. I'm just gonna say they look way better in person than they do online. Online, they look not the cutest. Jordan one orchid or orchid. How do you say that? Hold up. I don't have a yellow pair like this. It's kind of like a mustard, which I thought would go really nice with like an all black fit for the gym. So those were all the sneakers that I got from Champs and I haven't been able to put them up in my sneaker wall because I haven't done the call. So that is all of the PR that I got. Um, I'm gonna have to go and organize all this stuff. That's the only down part of getting PR is finding a place to put all this stuff. Sometimes I forget and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've had this product and I didn't even know. I forgot about it. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to my long PR and I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna check back in with you guys later on. So it's been a little while. I did take a shower, but I did not wash my hair because I want to do that tonight and I want to have like a relaxing shower. I gotta do like my whole pamper routine. I gotta shave, exfoliate and whatever. And I like doing that when I wash my hair at the same time. I was literally just doing some work stuff, some riches season stuff. So I was just organizing my PR and I had like a lot of new clothing as well that I was going through, but I did not share that with you guys because I'm going to be doing a separate video for the clothing that I got. I have some laundry in the dryer that I just brought onto the bed here and I did a couple loads of laundry. Now it's time to fold everything. On this bed right here, we have a mixture of like clothes that are not even opened, like they're in their package still. And a bunch of clean clothes that I have to just organize. When you do laundry for two people, you guys, Laundry for two people is so different than laundry for one. I'm just gonna specify. Laundry is never freaking ending in this household. That's just the way it is, okay? So I'm going to basically organize all this stuff right now. It is just about five o'clock. Really just need to like put my phone on DND &D and just like get this, get this stuff done. Basically, this is the situation right now. I don't know why this always happens, but it always, it always happens to me. I have a bunch of clean clothes. I gotta just like put everything away. I've got like some of my boyfriend's clothes. <sighs> and yeah, so I'm just gonna organize this right now. Hopefully I can get all of it done. And then I don't have to worry about this for the rest of the week. Right in a damn G, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas round me, cry that they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. TT, two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas round me, cry that they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off a fence, uh, just to own a hoodie, it's a print shop, way that I've been living unconventional, I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know, certain things have started getting tense, uh, think we need to have a son and family. Okay, I just finished up doing all the laundry, but I wanted to show you guys, I had this stuff underneath all of the laundry. Um, so this is my new Fashion Nova package that I got. I'm gonna be doing a full try on haul, probably sometime next week. I gotta try everything on. I gotta figure out some outfits, but we've got a ton of stuff here. Like this is definitely all of my new spring clothes. So you guys already know there's gonna be spring content on the way. What up you guys? Okay, my hair's looking a hot mess. I need to like, just put it up for a sec. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me tell you guys exactly what has happened today. First of all, I slept in, which I never, ever really do. Um, yesterday I took a bath and I used Dr. Teal's melatonin bath. I've never used this in my life. And let me tell you, I slept like a baby. I usually have a really hard time sleeping at night and falling asleep, but that just took me right out. Like I was knocked out. 
literally. That being said, I had a hard time waking up this morning because I just had such a beautiful night sleep. Then I woke up this morning, I did some orders for riches, I did some work stuff. I was gonna film a reel. <laughs> Instagram was actually down this morning <laughs> and I was like, hold up. Is everyone's Instagram doing the same thing that mine is doing? Because like, I don't know what's going on. So I was going to do so. Okay, hold up. Let me just back up. Yesterday I was talking to you guys about doing a unboxing uh, video for champs. I have three new sneakers. She literally just sent me another pair of sneakers today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this content for her. Like literally right now. Um, This is my connect at champ, by the way. I work with them on a monthly basis and I'm just part of the champs family. Crazy, crazy to say that. This morning I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna do my thing. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do all three videos in one because the weather's a little bit better today. It's not raining, it's dry. Instagram went back up and I'm like, okay, hold up. Maybe I I can just do one of them and then when I come back from the gym I can just do the two other videos and then I will be done because I want to get that all done today I have to that is on my to-do list today if I don't get that done I'm gonna get in trouble I went and did the video I literally just go across my street I'm not even joking you and I literally just walk over there it takes not even five seconds <laughs> and then I just set up shop so I'm gonna show you guys what that exactly looks like I was gonna bring my camera when I was doing the first video today and I was like you know what I'm just gonna save this because I kind of want to do it really quick I want to get to the gym it is about 10 30 right now which I'm running so freaking behind today I hate when this happens it makes me feel so unproductive so I'm gonna drink my pre right now I have to do my hair I'm training what am I training today <sighs> back in biceps I feel like i haven't hit upper body in a minute so i'm hoping my workout is really good but anyways i hope you guys are doing amazing tuesday i feel like i have not even been productive today which we going to, we gonna turn that around so it is literally hours later from the last time i checked in i just had a couple things to do just chilled out for a little bit walked jaws i literally just got back from a walk i told you guys i'm going to complete the next couple of videos for champs sun is still out so Girl, it is time to work. It's time to work. I have a banging headache, unfortunately, so I need to take an Advil for real. I gotta lace up the sneakers though. I just hate, the one thing I actually cannot stand with sneakers is like, why are they not lacing them up for me? Can somebody explain? I am gonna get right into lacing these up and I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. Just walking over to my little spot to film this content. So this is the spot. So as you guys can see, there's like two different cements here. And I like to always shoot on the lighter cement. This one is like not the prettiest. So I only brought the Jordan ones for right now. And then I'm going to go and run and grab the new balances. Cause this was a lot to haul around by myself. <laughs> So I'm just realizing that these white ones don't look good in this lighting, like at all. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to either do that inside or, cause like it almost has like a blue undertone, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna do those right now. I'm gonna do the yellow ones first. Okay, so I don't know if it's because it's like later in the day, but there's like an underlining blue that's coming out on this like paper and on the sneaker, which I don't like. So I'm gonna have to see if I can go a little bit closer to the sun. If not, then that means tomorrow morning I have to do this because I cannot deal with this lighting right now. It is actually so not lighting. It's cold. I'm gonna try to see if I can pick this up and walk with it over this way. Clearly, this is not going as planned. But you know what? So I'm thinking there's like a little bit of sun here. Do you guys see this? So I'm thinking maybe and the sun might be better. Well, let's try. Nope, so that was a big fail. I'm gonna have to do this tomorrow. I did not expect the lighting to change up like that. So now we're just walking back to the house. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this was not what I expected. This is not what I planned. I didn't think that it was gonna be this bad, but you know what? <sighs> my hands are frozen. Okay, that is not what I expected. That's not what I wanted. I am so annoyed right now. Just fix this camera really quick. Honestly, if you guys are wondering why the TV's on all the time, it's because I actually leave it on for Jaws. I don't know if anyone else does that, if they have pets, but okay, my hands are literally frozen. Um, okay, you need to just shh for a second, okay? Like I said, while I was out there, I don't know why, it's like sometimes it's a hit or miss, and this is the sort of stuff with content creating that literally drives me insane. It just was not, it was not the day. That means tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get my ass up. I'm gonna get this content done. I'm gonna get it finito. <sighs> Bruh. I'm literally looking at the photos that I did this morning, guys. I don't know if you can see this, but like the qua- I should have done them all at that time because the sun was literally peeking out. What time was that at? Like 10.30? Okay. Your girl knows that I'm gonna have to do that again tomorrow. Cause like, it was just perfect. Like, <sighs> I'm not happy about this. This is the life of being a content creator. No joke. So I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit and just do some normal things around the house. I'm gonna like clean up a little bit. I just feel a little claustrophobic right now. I have a video that I need to finish editing hopefully to go up for tomorrow. I'm not too sure yet, depending on how quickly I work tonight. I don't know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Good morning, you guys. I was literally getting ready to go to the gym and then my manager sent me a message. She was like, Fashion Nova is asking if you can submit one video so it can go live this week. And I was like, oh my gosh, I literally don't have the time. I don't have the time today. Unfortunately, I have to get it done because it is Wednesday today. If I don't get that submitted, then I'm gonna be in big trouble. And I'm already in trouble with champ. <sighs> you guys stress levels are high stress levels are high this week already I'm quickly doing my hair I already found an outfit I got a huge package from them like I've said earlier in this video so I quickly just put something together and I'm just curling my hair right now in the bathroom I'm gonna get that video done and then I'm gonna run out the door and go to the gym I have so many things to do today so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit okay before I leave the house I want to share with you guys new samples that I literally just got yesterday I am so excited about these hats I have been trying to design hats y'all you don't even know how long I can definitely say that this is exactly what I've been trying to make for like literally the last year I'm not even joking you so let me just explain the colorway so we've got this cream colorway but if you can see on the logo here I have brown stitching so this brown is what is actually stitched on this hat and then if you guys can see the stitching on this one it is actually the cream hat kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and then of course we've got the regular black with white stitching so these hats are actually velcro i don't like the dad hat as much i actually didn't want to design dad hats so the reason why i did velcro is just because they remind me a lot of like la hats and that was kind of the inspiration behind these hats i think i'm gonna wear probably the black one today these will be releasing really soon i have some socks as well literally i'm getting all of my samples probably early next week so i will share that with you guys okay so i put the black one on just so i can show you guys but like it's very similar to the la hats if you guys have any of those hats you guys know that i love my la new york hats i wear them all the time in my videos no joke design and who's calling me right now hello hi this is yeah yeah um, i'm uh do you think you will you will maintain something heat if you turn it off now uh, yeah, I should be able to turn it, like, do you mean turn it completely off or turn it down? Yeah, turn it completely off and maybe use your plug-in for now because I don't want, uh, I, I don't know what it is. I don't want it to go, okay, perfect. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, sorry, you guys. That was a guy that's going to come and fix my furnace later today. There's just like a really big tumbling noise. I don't even know what problem is. I want him to come and take a look at it because I don't want it to break and then I'm not going to have any heat. He was just calling me to make sure that I was going to be home. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wear this hat today. I'm thinking it's really cute. I might just put my hair in a bun because I'm doing legs, which you guys know I go hard on leg day. So anyway, I will chat with you guys when I get in the car. I just need to like 
I need to, I need to leave the house. I need to leave the house. We are finally on the way to the gym. It's 10.30. Way too late for my liking, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes this happened. I was pressed this morning, so I had to do a bunch of stuff. After the gym, though, I gotta run some errands. I gotta go and grab some shit. Um, I don't remember. So funny thing, when I did my week of workouts video, if you guys have not watched that, I will link it somewhere in this video and also in the description down below. And I was at the gym probably around like 8.39 ish. Still not super early, but also not super late. I was so used to going at that time that when I started going again at my normal time or even like around 1.32, I was like, get me the heck out of this gym. I cannot because normally me and my boyfriend go together. He gets home around like 1.30 and then we'll go like right away after. And I literally stepped foot in the gym and I was like, I can't. I feel like I'm claustrophobic. I feel like too many people here for my liking. Now I've just been telling him, yo, I'm gonna be going in the mornings. I just feel like I'm more productive that way. When I get the gym done in the morning, I just feel so much better. I feel like I have the whole day to do all of my other work, all of my other content, business stuff, my own personal stuff. So, okay, I can't get over this hat, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta deal with that stuff tonight with my furnace i don't even know what's been going on also my door handle is broken it's just one thing after another honestly my door handle is broken on the inside i can't like open the door normally i have to actually like fiddle with the door to get it open and i think it's because the piece on the inside of like the door handle is broken so like it's not clicking when i open the door if that makes sense all right you guys we just pulled up to the gym <sighs> I just need a second. All of my music is annoying me also. I feel like I just want to work out in silence. Does anyone ever get like that? Or like you just want to drive in silence because like I just can't. Every song that comes on, I literally just next, next, next. Don't even play music right now. I need to get going. Okay, so I will chat with you. I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. That hat came off real quick. I don't know why I was so hot during my workout, which normally does not happen. I'm just leaving the gym right now. I gotta go to the vet actually to grab pills for Jaws because my baby is getting spayed tomorrow. I know you guys are probably like, girl, she's three years old. Why did you not spay her before? Here's the thing, here's the thing. We did not spay her before because we actually wanted to breed her. Wanting to breed her was a plan of ours until we realized how difficult it was. Trying to find a mate for her was not as simple as I thought it was gonna be. So unfortunately, we decided to not go forward with that. Before she runs into any health issues, we need to spay her. So tomorrow is her appointment. I'm really nervous for her. Like, I don't know why I'm nervous. I shouldn't even be worried. I know she's in good hands. Our vet is pretty good. They are gonna give us like some sort of medication just to like calm her down before we bring her in. Uh, she really doesn't like the vet. To be honest, I don't know what dog actually likes the vet. So tomorrow I have to drop her off at 8.30 in the morning. I'm literally so hungry. I'm trying to not stop anywhere to get food because I need to eat. I still gotta do my freaking champs content you guys oh i really hope that the lighting is way better today i'm just gonna turn on some music right now and just jam out <laughs> nothing i'm just driving to the vet right now to grab jaws's stuff what are you doing okay are you gonna go snowboard later okay so i literally just got here i'm gonna go and grab this pill for jaws Um, I'm just here to pick up a uh, like pill for Jaws, yeah. just for her spay tomorrow. Possible. Okay, cool. Um, so this one's one and a half to two fine mouth, and it's every 12 hours. Okay. And then this one's one every 12 hours. Okay. So, yeah, start tonight with some food. Oh. Got these pills for my little baby. Okay, guys, the weather is much better right now. So we're gonna try this again. Dang, I'm in too. Oh. I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a piece of mind, baby. Come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah. 
Let's make it happen, girl, I need some time Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too I f*** your soul, I release in your spiritual I be your muse Are you okay there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing. Good? I'm just doing content. Yeah, oh, okay, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Taking Make photos sure of my shoes. Making sure you don't fall down. Oh no, no, I'm good. Thank you so like, much. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so I think I got enough for the yellow pair. The black and white pair. The lighting is way better, by the way. It's pitiful that when I with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school. Wife and now you fold with clothes, cooking dinner too. Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pink Griffey too It's only right that I swing by and hit it too First base, second base, third base I'm trying to get you in your birthday oh, I know these other niggas thirsty But please never entertain them Cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me oh, I know you feel me Yeah, yeah, yeah Well Woo! Okay, you guys, we are finally, finally complete. I did all the content for champs. Hallelujah. My hands are frozen. My feet are frozen. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chill on the couch for a little bit and I'm gonna edit the content. So I have it for my Instagram and I also can send it over to my champs. That guy was so, so nice. He literally was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. I like when people do that though. It's one thing to like stare and s try to see what I'm doing, but it's another thing to see like if I'm okay. Like some people will probably be like, why is this girl sitting on the floor? <sighs> Guys, I'm so tired. I gotta finish editing one of my videos I wanna get up. I wanna get it up for Saturday, but this week has actually killed me. It's been the longest week of my life. Who is calling me right now? Oh, hello? Oh, hi. Is somebody hi. calling? Yeah. Animal Hospital. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Is this Saya? Yes. Hey. So I'm just calling regarding your girl's appointment tomorrow. I yes. Know we had already called and confirmed everything. I'm not sure if it's Parham or you that the team spoke with. Yes. Um, your girl is so, so, so sweet. And I know she just does better with a little bit of emotional support from you guys. Yes. Would you guys be able to come in at 9 o'clock so that you're there for her pre-surgical exam? And also her city. Damn, my phone's been off the hook today. People want to be talking to me. No, I'm just playing. My appointment tomorrow was supposed to be at 8.30, but they've changed it to 9 o'clock, which honestly, I'm not mad about it. Because I wanted to stay up a little bit later today so I can try to edit my vlog and get that up for you guys. I need to just sit down and relax and drink some water. So I will check back in with you guys later on. Good morning, you guys. Getting a dog in the car is equivalent to having a child, like legit. Maybe it's not, but for me, it's a little bit rough. It is about 8.30 right now. My appointment got swapped to nine o'clock, so we are on the way. Let's go. I don't know if it's just me, but every time, I'm just so sensitive when it comes to Jaws, so. I'm just kind of nervous for her. I hope she's gonna be okay. They said it's not gonna take too long. Obviously, they want to keep her for a little bit afterwards. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. You okay there, baby? Jaws, what are you doing? I'm hit the gym right after. I'll chat with you guys when I get there. So we just got here. It is 8.51. I'm early. Didn't expect myself to get here this quickly. <gasps> I'm so nervous. I don't know. This shit just gives me like anxiety. Also, I'm like sitting in the car and I'm like, did I turn off my hair curler? And like, I'm not going back home. So it's like, Ugh. I don't know if I turn it off. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna bring her in. Wait, gotta put your leash on. No, not going back in the car. Inside this way. Got 
to weigh her? Yeah. Jaws. <laughs> so we're just waiting. We're just waiting for the technician. Jaws. I forgot my phone in the car. I should have brought it. Because I wanted to take pictures. You know what I mean? Is that something that I can get like any time though? You can. The only thing she has to be is, sedated, probably. She doesn't. Oh, okay. But the needle is quite large that it is painful. Oh, um, so it so can. Be, it's much more painful than a normal needle. Right. Um, but breeders give it to puppies before they leave at eight weeks old all the time. Oh. Okay. If you want to go through, so there's areas for you to sign, and then there is a section either page two or three for mm -hmm. CPR. Just initial if you want CPR done. If anything were to go. And okay. okay. Yes, side. please. If okay. I can just take a look and just sign everything, no, and then and then I'll just come back and we'll sounds good. Apart. Thank you so much. I literally forgot my phone in the car. I couldn't even text my boyfriend. So I'm literally just updating him right now. Am I the only one that feels really bad doing that? Like it felt so bad. I didn't film this part, but they basically sedated her. I just sat there uh, for about five minutes with her until like kind of kicked in and she like immediately just got knocked out. Probably gonna have to grab her in a couple of hours. But mm. Anyways, I literally have to pee so bad this vet doesn't have a public washroom so i mean i guess i'm just gonna have to hold it until i get to the gym okay i will check back in later so we just picked her up jaws yeah we just picked her up and look at what the look at what they did for her that's so cute Hey guys, what's up? I just left the gym and I just got to the grocery store. It is Friday afternoon. I was at the gym earlier and now I'm just leaving the grocery store. I had to grab like a couple of grocery essentials. Honestly, I haven't really been doing much. Yesterday, like Jaws was just really not doing well. She didn't sleep at all last night. I was in and out of sleep. Honestly, it was like having like a newborn baby. She's doing a little bit better now. She's like not drugged up anymore. Yesterday, she was so drugged up, you guys. Like I was like, oh my gosh, why do I feel so bad for her? Like I wish I didn't have to spay her if you don't apparently there's like a lot of health issues that can come along with that so we don't want to run into any problems later on today i got to finish up my video i got to post probably in about an hour so a little bit of work stuff we just got a bunch of new like restocked items so i gotta go through the whole website i gotta do some business stuff so i will check back in with you guys later on but i really want to spend some time with jaws and just make sure she's doing okay because she's my baby so i will chat with you guys in a little bit Hey guys, what's up? I have not vlogged for like basically two days and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't even checked in today and I didn't show you guys anything that I did yesterday, which I didn't really do much just cause like I said, Jaws got spayed. We just tried to chill at home with her. Today is kind of the same thing. <laughs> we're not really doing much, but we're gonna have some people over in a little bit to watch like the game. It's not really my people, it's my boyfriend's people. So I need to do some house cleaning. I don't know if anyone else does this, but like whenever people come over, if you're not cleaning your house, yeah, so this morning I did like some work stuff. I had to do some Fashion Nova videos that I have to submit tomorrow. Like nothing really crazy. We went to the gym, chilled, had some food. I was editing one of my other videos that I'm working on. Yeah, so just like a lot of chilling and like a whole lot of nada. A whole lot of nothing. But anyways, I have to get in clean mode right now. Bump a good playlist. I gotta do some like disinfecting in the bathroom and just like vacuum mop. Y'all already know. We'll check back in with you guys later on.
Guys, when I say I literally got in clean mode, I haven't stopped cleaning for the last like three hours. In some way, it is a good thing because I got all of my cleaning done, all of my laundry, all of the dishes, and I even organized all of my clothes, cleaned the stock room. I'm so impressed with myself. It's about 8.30 right now. I still have clothes on the bed here because I've been folding for the last two hours. Like thing is, I just don't have the space for my clothing and I keep getting more clothes. I'm like beat. I'm trying to chill out for a little bit here. My boyfriend and his friends are just watching the hockey game right now. I'm just gonna be chilling here. I'm gonna be trying to still organize. I, mean, I swear I am organizing and cleaning 24 seven. Like this is really my lifestyle. Like this is really what I do every single day. On a side note though, I wanted to tell you guys how stressed out I was yesterday. I was editing my self-care day video that literally just went up this morning. I will link it in this video and in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I was working so damn hard on that video throughout the whole week. I was like, you know what? I need to figure out how to export in 4K. Your girl figured it out. Okay, I sat there for hours trying to figure out how to export in 4K because all of the cameras I use shoot in 4K. However, when I would go to upload a video and like do the whole edits and everything, the quality wasn't in 4K, right? So I was like, why is this happening? I exported the video, everything was good. I went and posted the video, not thinking that the video was incomplete. Okay, the video was incomplete. I went and posted it and then I went to go do like, add like my end screen. My whole ending was cut off and I was like, my whole ending was cut off. And I was so stressed out because I was like, why did this happen? So I went and watched the video back, the exported version, and it was indeed cut off. Okay, but when I exported the video, it wasn't cut off. Like I have a full ending. Why was it cut off? I had to re-export the video, took my computer, my iMac, literally two and a half hours to do so. And the reason why I think this is my iMac is she's ancient, okay? She is probably about 15 years old. That was my little stressful moment. I just wanted to give you guys a little disclaimer that you can now watch in 4K. There is a little button on the bottom of this video if you're watching on a desktop and you can change the resolution at 2160 MP or something. I don't, don't ask me questions because I don't even know, but I know it's 4K. When I watched my video in 4K, you guys, I was like, oh, the edits with the quality, amaze. You guys can watch my videos now in 4K. You're welcome. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna need a new iMac, like stat. I finally took a shower. I feel so good. I had to wash my hair. I wanted to share with you guys what I talked about earlier in this vlog. Remember I told you guys about this L'Oreal bond repair, pre-shampoo, shampoo, and the conditioner. Why did nobody tell me that there's such thing as a pre-shampoo and then like a regular shampoo? Because this is brand new to me. I had no idea. Just say the way that the pre-shampoo made my hair feel. Like you're joking me. It was so silky and smooth. I don't know much about L'Oreal shampoo. If you guys have tried it, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. First of all, 10 out of 10, this pre-shampoo. I went in with the shampoo right after and then the conditioner. I just wanna say that the quality of the product is almost feels like hair salon products. You know, like, you know, when you go to the hair salon, you can go and buy like the really expensive products. This is what that stuff is equivalent to. I'm forever gonna use this. And I'm definitely gonna look into pre-shampooing because I had no idea. I have very dry hair and I do use a lot of like tools on it as well. I'm always looking for ways to strengthen my hair, make sure that it's healthy and growing. Oh, you guys, I'm so tired. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That was my uh, phone bedtime alarm. I don't know if you guys have that, but I have that. Um, it is the time of the month, so I am breaking out like absolutely crazy right now. My water intake has been terrible. So I'm gonna get straight into bed. I'm gonna close out this video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I have something very exciting that is happening tomorrow and I'm gonna start a new vlog. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you stay tuned for the video that will be up after this one. It'll be another weekly vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Ciao.